Hi, this is William Ramsey. I wanted to make this video about recent seizure activity from Hillary Clinton, particularly from October 19th, 2016. There's a video of her on her really plane. Um, over her shoulder is John Podesta, the author of all the WikiLeaks emails, um, some of which implicated him uh, cheating on his wife with uh, some married woman. But in the following video, you will see Hillary have a minor seizure. That's what I'm going to be Are you worried about very well Democrat. Democrat. Are you worried about violence or are supposed to if they are found Watch it again to really help our country and that's what I'm going to be Are you worried about very well Democrat. Are you worried about violence or are supposed to if they are found In response to loud questions from reporters Hillary Clinton has a minor seizure Here's another minor seizure on the plane from October 9th, 2016. As reporters raise their voices to ask her questions, she seizes up and tries to work her way through it. Watch it again. If you haven't seen the video, Hillary Clinton very sick, irrefutable proof that she has a seizure disorder, please go check it out on this channel. The video has over 3 million views and shows Hillary Clinton seizing up in similar circumstances where a group of reporters loudly ask her questions. And how did you talk about vice presidential possibilities with Senator Warren? You guys have got to try the cold chocolate. Here's the full video of Hillary seizing up on October 19th. I uh, just wanted to come back and say hello. Some of you have been on the trail for the whole time. No more debates. No more naps. No more naps. The rumor is is that Hillary Clinton sleeps most of the day. Will you accept the results of the election? <laughs> Listen to that question again and watch how she refuses to answer it and spins it. Will you accept the results of the election? <laughs> you know, it was horrifying what he said on the debate stage tonight. Um, you know, our country's been around for 240 years um, and you know, we are a country based on laws, um, and we've had hot, contested elections going back to the very beginning. Uh, but one of our hallmarks has always been that we accept the outcomes of our elections. We do the best we can to have and fair elections, which we do, and fair elections, which we do. We do not have fair elections, and the Democrats are planning to steal this one. Uh, and somebody wins and somebody loses. Uh, so what he said tonight is part of his whole effort to blame somebody else for his campaign and for where he stands in this election. As I said, uh, whenever he is losing, he says the system, whatever the system is, whether it's uh, you know being in court about Trump University or losing the Iowa caucus in the Wisconsin primary or losing Emmys, for goodness sakes, he says that it's rigged against him. And, uh, how did you feel? How did you feel when he said, "You know, nasty woman, nasty woman," and uh, "You're a puppet," and the, the issue of Vladimir Putin? Yeah, I just don't. I, I just didn't pay any attention to that. I was very concerned that even now, after 17 intelligence agencies in our government, uh, both uh, military and civilian, have confirmed that Russia has engaged in. Uh, cyber attacks against uh, Americans. Listen to that lie again. Very concerned that even now, after 17 intelligence agencies in our government, uh, both uh, military and civilian, have confirmed that Russia has engaged in uh, cyber attacks against uh, Americans. On October 20th, Fred Flights refuted the statement by Hillary Clinton that 17 U.S. intelligence agencies said that Russia hacked Democratic emails. Fred Flight said that Hillary Clinton's statement was false and misleading, 
Only only two U.S. intelligence agencies have weighed in on the issue, and what they have said is ambiguous about Russian involvement. Flights summed up his statement that maybe the Russians are behind the WikiLeaks hacks of Democratic emails, possibly to influence the 2016 presidential election. I'm not convinced of this. I'm more concerned that these constant leaks of Democratic emails demonstrate that Democratic officials appear to have no understanding of the need for Internet security. This makes me wonder if John Podesta's email password is password. These are people Clinton will be giving senior jobs with high-level security clearances. That is the real security scandal that no one is talking about. Fred Flights is Senior Vice President for Policy and Programs with the Center for Security Policy. He worked in national security positions for 25 years with the CIA, the State Department, and the House Intelligence Committee. Let's continue. That he refused to admit that it's true and condemn it uh, for what it is, which is a blatant uh, effort to try to interfere in our elections. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, from your praise for Goldman Sachs bankers to uh, Podesta calling Bernie Sanders a doofus will make it harder for you, if you win, to rally the liberal base around your agenda and your appointment. Not at all. Bernie Sanders is out there working hard every day to get me elected. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with everybody in our party. But as I said in uh, the closing, which they gave us at the last minute, uh, I'm reaching out to all Americans, uh, Democrats, Republicans, and independents. I want to summon every American to you know, use his or her talents and energy uh, and ambition to really help our country. And that's what I'm going to be. Are you worried about violence? Are you worried about violence? She has a seizure, then wraps it up. You know, I know nothing about this. I'm not, you know, I, I can't deal with every one of his conspiracy theories. But I hope you all have something to eat and something to drink on the way back to New York. Thank you. What did Chris Wallace do? He did very well. He did very well. Well, that and MSNBC make sure to have a little bit of gilded Prometheus in the background, representation of Satan. On the right in red is Andrea Mitchell, wife to former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan. During the press conference, Press Secretary Nick Merrill hands Andrea Mitchell his cell phone. Did Merrill give Andrea Mitchell a question to ask Hillary? I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to this channel and thank you very much.